Much of uh, international policy at the moment seems to be dictated by both China and the United States and their current dispute. Um, but Europe seems somewhat quiet on calling China out at the moment on many of the issues around market access and behaviour that President Trump has been more forthright on. If you become the Director General, are you going to be more willing to call out China on these issues? Will you be firmer on questions like technology transfers and theft of technology? Well, I'm not sure the, that the OECD is the forum to to, um, to call out for this, but Europe has be, been vocal and basically it, it shares the criticism from the US on cyber thefts, on dumping of markets, on massive industrial support to state-owned companies. It's just that Europe might not share the the uh, the, um, the the actions that the trade wars are the ways to get out of this, but rather by joint pressure. And there is such cooperation as well. So I think Europe is on its way to formulate a, a tougher strategy vis-a-vis -vis China, based on some of the issues you mentioned and others uh, as well. Because of course we need we need China if we want to to solve the climate crisis. We need China to take part in the reform of, of international institutions such as WTO and so on. We need to trade with China, but we also need to put pressure on China to, to make it in a, in a rule-based way. And that's a long way to go. And I hope that Europe as a European Union can be, uh, as they are now formulating the, the, the policies coming out of, of the corona crisis, can be more united and more forceful in its, uh, in its dialogue vis-a-vis -vis China.